New tonight, Kim Jong-un made his first trip outside of North Korea since becoming its leader. Kim visited with China's president in Beijing. China has been North Korea's best trading partner for decades, but that relationship has become strained with China agreeing to U.S.-led sanctions against Pyongyang in retaliation for its nuclear program. The White House says it was not alerted to Kim's visit before it happened, but the administration is viewing this trip as a positive move. We're going to be uh, cautiously optimistic, but we feel like things are moving in the right direction um, and that the meeting yesterday was a good indication that the maximum pressure campaign has been working. Kim Jong-un has even been put halting nuclear weapons on the table, something that seemed improbable just a few months ago. All this comes ahead of plans for an anticipated meeting between the Korean leader and President Donald Trump. However, no date has been set for that. Hi, witness news analyst, Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us in studio. General, we've seen meetings like this before. How do you think this uh, type of meeting came about? Yeah, I'm not sure. It could be uh, at the invitation of China to North Korea or perhaps the other way around. I don't think we'll know that until we get an exact uh, uh, purpose of the meeting and whatever comes out of the agenda, if there is one. How does this affect future meetings, let's say, with the United States and North Korea? Uh, once again, I'm not sure what uh, the president would be told as to what came out of that meeting. According to President Trump, the meeting was successful and positive between China and North Korea. But until we see the exact agenda, I'm not quite sure what we should look to. But there has to be an end state in order for us to go to it. All right, so that's the agenda. What do you expect to come out? Obviously, nuclear weapons is going to be yeah, at the top of the list. I would expect, hopefully expect, that there is a denuclearization for the, the Korean Peninsula and that we would probably negotiate something along the lines of maybe not having military exercises in Korea, in, with South Korea. That's a possibility, whether it actually happens or not. And it has to be verifiable. You know, we can't get into a uh, an Iraq scenario where they kept pushing us out to verify whether, in fact, they had weapons of mass destruction. So if the United States is able to go in and take a look around, at that point, does President Trump or the administration back off on the uh, sanctions? Right now, there is no uh, room to do that. According to President Trump, there will be no, go no negotiations of existing sanctions. That could be a negotiating point as we get into the talk. So I would not say that can happen, but but right now, no. All right, General, as always, thank you for your thoughts.